Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to create a CI CD that is continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline using AWS Code Pipeline. This video is fourth on WordPress on AWS series. If you are following this tutorial series from the very beginning, then you would have an EC2 instance that is serving a sample code over the internet. You should also have an AWS Code Commit repository where we have all our WordPress code. In this video, we are going to focus on this middle section where we are going to create a bridge between our code repository and our EC2 server. Let's create an AWS pipeline as we have discussed. I am now logged into the AWS console. Let's click on the services dropdown and search for code pipeline. I'll head over to that section now. We'll now click on create pipeline button in the top right section of this page. We now have pipeline settings form. Let's put the pipeline name as myblog-pipeline. Next option is a service role, which is a unique type of IAM role that is linked directly to an AWS service. Think of this as permission that code pipeline requires to access code commit and elastic beanstalk that we had created in earlier tutorials. I'll select new service role option which creates a new role in IAM console and assigns the relevant permissions. We can always view these permissions from the IAM console. In fact, after this tutorial, I would encourage you to visit the IAM console and see what type of permissions does this role has. Let's click the next button now. Now it is asking us to provide us the source. Source is essentially the repository from which the pipeline is supposed to get the code. In our case, we have all our code on AWS code commit repository. So I'll give that here. From the drop down, let's select AWS code commit. Now we need to select the repository. From the earlier tutorial, we had created myblog-repo. So let's choose that repo. And the branch name would be master. For the change detection option, we'll keep the default Amazon CloudWatch events and we'll hit next. Next is the build stage form. This is for those projects where build stage is required before deploying the applications like Java, Node.js, etc. Since ours is a PHP application, we don't need this build stage. So in this screen, we'll simply click skip build stage. We get a pop-up saying your pipeline will not include a build stage. Are you sure you want to skip the stage? I'll skip it. Next, we have add a deployment stage. In the second video of the series, we had created an EC2 instance using Elastic Beanstalk. We'll use that instance for deploying our application. From this drop down, we'll choose AWS Elastic Beanstalk. The region in my case is US East Ohio. The application and environment names are available in the drop down from our actual environment. I'll select them and hit next. After reviewing this, we'll hit the Create Pipeline button. Now we can see we have two stages that is source and deploy. Once it is created, it will automatically start for the first time. But after the first trigger, whenever we have a new commit, this pipeline will trigger automatically. And these two stages will be executed, which will deploy our code to our instances. Now that both the stages have been executed, our local code should now be published. We will now head over to Elastic Beanstalk section from the top navigation pane. We'll open our application and hit the URL endpoint from here. And here we see that our WordPress setup screen shows up. So that's all for this video. In this video, we created a new AWS code pipeline this pipeline acts as a bridge and takes input from AWS code commit repository and pushes that code to EC2 instance that we had earlier created in video tutorial number 2. This pipeline will be triggered automatically whenever we have any change. 
So this is our current architecture. All that's left is to integrate a database with our application. So in the next and final video on this series, we'll focus on this portion and we'll create a new MySQL database using Amazon Relational Database Service or AWS RDS and link it with the WordPress website that's currently running on our EC2 server. So that's all for now and I'll see you in the next video.